16. It's almost like Stonehenge. The Nordic Stonehenge. Wow, they look even bigger up close. So this is the stone circle we saw on the way to the settlement yesterday. I'm still surprised by the size. Well, like I said yesterday, these were suddenly placed here over a thousand years ago. Some say this used to be some kind of ceremonial site, but we don't know much more than that. Hmm, I can't help but wonder how they could possibly build something like this without the use of modern technology. <laughs> I think it's the, that sense of mystery that really enchants people. <clears throat> also, Eponagrass. <clears throat> Is it going to tell me how much I have? Uh, da -da -da -da. Eponagrass, I've got four. I only need one more. I also intend to get the, um, the sub-quest done as well. Sub-quest. It's a quest, uh, the, the, the delivery, the food delivery. Lunch. Well, I guess at this early is breakfast, but they can, they can space it out. Yeah. They can ration it. And now I gotta go the long way around, cause, uh, can't just go down the little cliff here. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh. We even got sun for whenever the horse runs into a wall. Oh, stay clear. Okay, so they do respond normally, so it you just gotta give them enough time. Is that a rhino cider? No, it's uh, one of the big ones. Oh, hey. It's daytime? Was it supposed to do this? Oh, we're not under a time limit, are we? I mean, it looks really nice, but... Huh. Just ignore them. Yeah. Alright, there's some grass and a chest up ahead. Chest first, grass later. I don't know why. It's a treasure chest. I don't know why I was about to say boobs first, weed later. Wins. Give us your blessing. Oh jeez. It's my turn. Okay. Um Hi. You are resistant to earth. Ow. Here we go. All right, arc slash. There we go. I can do this. Oh yeah. It's my turn. Open. Uh -oh. Ow. Huh? Zap. My turn. I like how the rhino cider is just included. <laughs> it's like, I'm no part of this. Rush. Leave it to me. Okay. It's 
Doesn't matter. matter who you hit. Let's go. All right. Still stunned. <laughs> oh man, just gained all that help. Love this song. Has a chance. I got you. It's all right. Heal me. Argus activate. Now. Thanks. It's my turn. All right, guys. Uh, go for a Gale Stinger. Lisa Ow. That wasn't very nice. This should finish it. There we go. Whew, I can see more. And just try. Oh, I hit it. It's my turn. There. Here we go. Chop. Go. I got you. It's my turn. I missed. Right. Fire. All right. Then they said. I go where the wind takes me. Level up for everyone. Right. Nicely done. Just getting started. Ooh, wild rage. Yes. <laughs> uh, got to learn it. A matter of course. Flame tongue. Okay. But yeah, no wild rage. Uh. That, that that is the exact name of uh, a Gates uh, move from Sky, right? I believe so. Yeah, Wild Rage. That makes five, I believe. Is that enough, guys? It is. Let's make our way back to hand them over to Armor. We should go uh, get them back to him as soon as possible so he can help those horses. Agreed. We'll get there when I say we get there. I'm doing this along the way. Alright, so we have one, two, three, four. At least four more chests that I can see from here. Let's get them. Let's go get the chest. Let's go, horsey. Chrono Drive. I remember back in like the Sky games, I was all, well, once I started getting smart in SC, I uh, started to become all about using them, uh, speed ups and whatnot. I remember I was dumb back in uh, FC, and most of SC, just like uh, brute force everything. Open tear all bomb. Okay, I thought I saw something. Yeah. Looks like we're going to have to go around for this. Kind of like getting off the the exit ramp. Uh, like, when you're on, like, the highways and whatnot. Highways. More like interstates, I guess. Or are those also considered highways? 
I never really thought too much about that. So, um, a little bit about the, uh, the manual for this game, because I, like I said, I also have the PS4 version, which I'm, uh, playing off my off time. And, uh, the manual for this game is quite funny when you get to the, the end because it has uh, little comic strips about um, yeah. about the game. <laughs> yeah, Elisa's little guide through Thor's military academy and the classmates and whatnot. And I love how like how uh, for Gaius's it was like uh, oh what was it? It was. She's talking about him, and then Gaius kind of, like, says what she's thinking without her actually saying it. It's like, you're surprised that, uh, that I look young, that I look like I can be part of the class or something. I love that comic. Especially with, like, uh, some of her character notes. Like, she's like, brings the swordsman, and that's it. Uh, then it's like, Elia is like... Uh, it's like, with this time, he can become Magical Boy Elliot. <laughs> He's like, that is wrong. And she's like, I've been lied to. By who? Uh, who did set her up with that? Was it Vivi? Did Vivi tell her that? Oh, look at this little mini cave. Well, not really. Eh. Alright, so there is the watchtower. Laura's one was also funny in uh, that little comic because, like, you know, she's a pristine girl and whatnot. And Laura just comes out like trying to trying to appease to the to the crowd. It's like I don't remember the whole thing. I just remember like uh, we'll we'll get along like two yeats and a dab, and it's just like is this the way to the watchtower? Yeah, just keep heading along this path. And then Reen and, uh, Reen and Elisa were just like, oh my god, she's more sheltered than I thought. <laughs> the Watchtower. So this is the Imperial Army's Watchtower. It seems like, uh, they've got the bare minimum in terms of facilities and armaments. Still, it does have that imposing look you'd expect from a military base. Though the atmosphere doesn't seem especially tense. The building itself appears relatively new as well. Well, yeah, it was only built, ar uh, built around three years ago. Bare minimum or not, it still looks kind of out of place here in, on the highlands. Anyway, uh, let's get a better look inside. Oh, so is it just... Oh, hello. <laughs> Look at this little bit just floating in the air. Alright. Uh, I guess we can disembark. Let's no, let's just ride our... Aw, oh, okay. I'll disembark here. Out of the way, hopefully. Hello there. I found this book in one of the boxes I was moving earlier. Seems a shame to just toss it, so why don't you take it? There's Red Moon Rose, Chapter 6. Ba -da -ba -da. Red Moon Rose, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're doing good. I do say so myself. Look how... Oh, man. Oh, the view here is beautiful. It looks like a Calvert military base. Ooh, where? It is. This area kind of acts as a buffer zone between the two countries. Was that in the distance there? Or am I supposed to be seeing something else? I think that that's what they're talking about. 
Hello. Look at this big old little uh, area. Hello. Ugh, man, I'm bored. Excuse me, you wouldn't happen to be Zats, would you? The one and only. Hey, you're those students from Thor's who are here on a field study or something, right? So, what can I help you with? Actually, we came here to bring you something from the settlement. Oh, something from Kilt then, right? Please tell me it is. Looks like he can't wait to get his hands on what we've got. <laughs> he must uh, must have really been looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Kilt's presents are just about the only thing we have to look forward to out here. Thanks a bunch for bringing it. Oh, how I've waited for this. Thanks again. Oh yeah, since you all came, uh, come all the way out here. How about I show you the view from up top? Might be useful for that field study of yours. Really? That sounds great. Are you sure we're allowed? Eh, no problem. Besides, Lieutenant General... Uh, Zex said to do what we could to make your stay a good one. Here, I'll show you the way. Huh, well, thanks. So that's the Republican Army's base. That's the one, though, as you can tell, it's not exactly a massive outpost. For one thing, the bulk of their forces are made up of uh, tanks, and tanks don't do too hot out here on the highland terrain. That's true. And yet they built a base up here anyway, just to keep up appearances. It's like a staring match between two stubborn children. Useless. Nah, yeah, that's pretty spot on. Still, lately we've had air, uh, airships from both armies cruising around here. So we can't let our guard, uh, guard down too much either. Still, if you ask me, the chance of anyone starting a war in a place like this is pretty near zero. Anyway, relax and enjoy the view while you're here. Chances like this don't come along every day, after all. Thanks for showing us, uh, the way. We're grateful for the opportunity. Ha! <laughs> Glad to hear it. Oh yeah, would you mind giving this to Kilt, uh, when you go back to the settlement? Erebonian wine. Hmm, what might this be? Oh, just a little something from me for sharing her things with us. Feel kind of bad if I didn't at least try and give her something in return. Ah, uh, I understand. We'll be sure to pass it along for you. Thanks. Am I allowed in? Nope. Cargo bay. Oh. All right, back on the horse we go. Let's get going. Okay, let's go. Yeah. All right, back at the settlement. Let's go turn in the uh, the request before we go start the the third one. There we go. Oh, did you deliver it already? Yeah, the soldier we talked to was really happy about it, too. He even asked us to deliver this to you as thanks. Ah, I always tell them there's no need for thanks, too. I'll let the men have this tonight, then. Right then, you all saved me a bit of trouble. It's not much, but please take this. We can't possibly accept this. Oh, please. There's no need to be modest. You've earned it. Anyway, I wish you luck with the remainder of your field study. Thanks, Kilt. Alright, so that's that delivered. 
I'm gonna go talk to the doctor. Welcome back. Seems like you all made it back in one piece. Yeah, no issues here. Can you check to make sure uh, we've collected the right thing? Excuse me. Sure, give it here. Yep, these are what I was looking for. Thanks a lot. You've saved me the hassle of getting them myself. <laughs> it was our pleasure. Are, this, are things coming along well in regards to making the medicine? Yep, all I need it to do is add this grass now. Granted, I still need to wait until it's properly mixed in, so it'll be a while yet until it's ready. It should be done by tonight, though, so I'll make sure all the horses have it then. Thank you for the hard work, as always. No worries. Oh, right. Can't forget to give you your reward for helping out. Sent. Thank you. Much appreciated. You all deserve it. Well, then... Good luck with the rest of your tasks. I have never been really fond of the scent quartz. Our cotton still can't ride a horse despite being five years old. That makes me feel rather worried. Even Lily can ride one well at her age. That's a fairly young age to expect someone to be able to ride a horse at. Being able to do so is essential to the people of Nord. I'm sure he'll be able to do it soon, though. <laughs> Thank you, Gaius. He, uh, perhaps some special training is in order for our next relocation. The rumors about the people of Nord's proficiency with horses seem to have been true. Impressive. I feel bad for the kid. This is like... <laughs> he'd be an ex... Uh, like, I know that's, like, their way, but, like... He's five years old. I don't think he barely knows what he's doing with his life. <laughs> Daddy's medicine is the best. I helped him pick out the herbs for it too. He said I did a good job. Look at this little boy. Alright, uh, before we head out, let's see if I can get some money out of this. Right. I think we're ready to head out to go meet, uh, at the fort. Hmm. Oh, God. Uh, hello. Welcome to Zender Game. My name is Ogrim. I'm in charge of who can and can't pass through here. You are not to enter any classified areas without my permission. Understood? Yes, sir. Well said. You'll find the mess hall in the right wing and the barracks in the left. Lieutenant General... Uh, Vander's office can be found within the left wing, too. I recommend you pay him a visit. Yeah. Okay, let's go meet with the general. Thank you for coming. Huh. Looks like you were able to get a good night's rest after your long journey. Yeah, we were. Thank you for your concern, sir. And thank you again for pairing those horses for us yesterday. We really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule for us. Oh, no need to thank me. It was the least I could do to welcome Gaius back to his homeland. Thank you very much. I would have been able I wouldn't have been able to enroll in the academy if not for your recommendation. I'm truly grateful. Really? It did seem like the two of you were no strangers. I can hardly imagine the circumstances that would give cause for a nomad to meet an Imperial officer. Uh, does boggle the mind, doesn't it? But actually, I owe a great debt to Gaius. He saved my life. Seriously? We first met around a year ago, back when I took up my post here at Zender Gate. 
While out on an inspection of the highlands, I found myself surrounded by a pack of wolf-like beasts. Then out of nowhere, young Gaius comes galloping in, spear in hand, to pull my ass out of the fire. What a way to meet. <laughs> it was like a textbook definition of acting without thinking. No, no, you should be proud of yourself. There I was, on the defensive, cautiously gauging my best course of action. When Gaius barreled into the fray, all alone, and fought off, off the lot of them. And this was a year ago. Back when he was just 16? Unbelievable. <laughs> it sounds like uh, just wild enough to be a true Gaius story. Anyway, that's how the Lieutenant General and I first became acquainted. He's the one who wrote uh, me the recommendation that allowed me to enroll the, at the Academy. I saw a lot of potential in you. Figured it'd be a shame if you were never given the chance to realize it. I'm glad to see you again, Gaius. As am I. Anyway, let's uh, move along to business. Are you ready for me to explain what I'd like you to do? Ready when you are, sir. It was something about hunting down a dangerous monster that's been sighted around here, right? Indeed, it's a ferocious beast, and a dangerous one. I've had reports coming in of people being attacked on their way across the highlands. Hmm, it does sound like the kind of problem that's best not ignored. Is it possible to send the army after it? My first thought was to do exactly that. Unfortunately, it never stays in any one place for too long. As such, we were initially unable to pinpoint a specific location where we could mount an operation against it. When you consider how vast the plains are, hunting a target that's constantly moving isn't an easy task. You say initially? You said initially, though. So does that mean... Sharp thinking, Miss... Milstein, several days ago, we managed to discover at least one of its haunts. And right as I was about to draw plans for an operation, I was informed you'd be paying us a visit. I figured a good battle might uh, be just the right kind of mission for your field study. Ah, so that's how it happened. Would you mind telling us where we can find the monster, sir? We've tracked it. Uh, to the, a basin that lies east-northeast of Zender Gate. Though it's always on the move, it appears to linger in that area during this time of day. I'd like to ask you to head there right away and exterminate it for us. Understood. Leave everything to us. We won't let you down. Excellent. I'm counting on you then. The basin shouldn't be too far on horseback. Take care. Understood, sir. All right, we're looking for a basin east-northeast of here. Let's get going, then. Not far on horseback, you say. I ran all the way here on foot. <laughs> I was curious, and so I decided, eh, why not? It didn't take that long. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring... I'm gonna bring Eusis into this. Uh, hmm... Hmm. We'll see how he does. If I fail like once or twice, I may switch uh, Elisa in. Hey, they sent my horse over here. Let's get going. All right. Well, whatever. I guess they just want to make sure you don't do something like that, uh, stupid like that again. But you can always just press the square button and press ride horse. Oh yeah, the only reason I did it was A, because I was curious, well, two reasons. A, I was curious, and B, uh, I was cutting over here anyway, so it didn't really matter. Alright, so where is our target? I'm guessing that. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Say we fight a few beasts before we get there. Aww! I didn't realize that. That is really cute. 
Why? <laughs> nice little details. And the horse changes too. I like that. They put a little bit of effort into that. A little bit, a lot of effort. I imagine something like this wouldn't be easy. Oh, I have to go down a little more. There we go. Is that in the distance? Looks like it. Let's save before I pick a fight. How the hell has it already been two and a half hours? What? Well, that's a big one. I'd say that's the monster we came looking for. The Lieutenant General did say that it was spotted around here, and this time of day, too. Yeah, let's make sure we're fully prepared before we engage it. Understood. We won't let the Lieutenant General down. Watch out, this is a tough one. Go! Alright. What do we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven loaches, uh, one Thunder Quaker. Let us put some delay into their step. I'll handle this. All right. Uh, they're probably going to strike with uh, magic attacks. Let's see. Let's hit them. Crystal Saber. Booyah! Yeah. Three down. Alright, let's analyze this thing. All complete. An ancient fish capable of producing electricity in its body can char foes within a wide area. Sweet Earth. It's my turn. Got wild rage. Yes. Calamity Hawk, let's go! Boom. That took it down. Oof. Y'all right? Let's see if we can delay this thing. Go use this. It's my turn. Didn't delay it. Earthlands. Okay, now I'm uh, unable to do much. Uh, no win, got it. All right. Guys, if you would. Frost Edge. My turn. Rapid Thrust. <laughs> Oof. Go. We should have this. Arcus, it's my turn. She's the one with that. Uh, I froze it. Leave it to me. We did it! Nobble ups! 
that should suffice. Making progress. Ooh, crescent shell can now be used. Oh, magic reflect. Uh, I did it. Molten rain. Rains uh, burning arrows onto enemies can unbalance. Right, looks like that takes care of our task. Seems so. I hope this will uh, go some way toward repaying the debt I owe the Lieutenant General. My, how gracious of you. Well, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Let's return to the Zender Gate and report our success to the Lieutenant General. Will you teleport me? Thank you. So you were able to defeat the beast? Excellent work. I really appreciate your assistance. The winds allowed us to prevail. Ha, huh, so it seems. Here's your reward for a job well done. You've earned it. Speedbreaker. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Always glad to be of service. Even had we not prevailed, the troops here would have uh, soon made short work of the beast. Perhaps so, but I appreciate your assistance nonetheless. Even against a monster, I'd rather avoid deploying soldiers. Mobilizing troops tends to alarm people. Sure, we may have been able to defeat it, but this was a better outcome for all concerned. I see. That does make sense. He really seems like a skilled leader. I'd heard of uh, One-Eyed Zex and the Vander School of Swordsmanship before, but... Yeah, it's not, it's not hard to tell why he's a celebrated military general. Back when I first met him, he really changed my perspective on the Erebonian military. I can see why now. Regardless, I don't want to take up any more of your time. I'm sure your field study here will be an invaluable experience, and hopefully a memorable one as well. I wish you the best with all your remaining tasks. Thank you, sir. We'll do our best. If you'll excuse us, then. Ugh. Oh. All right, we are done with our requests. I guess now we head home. Back to the settlement. Whew. Back in Nord. Hi, there. Back at the settlement. Don't know why that didn't come to my mouth first. Alright, uh... Yep, just straight ahead. Alright. Hmm, I see you finished all this morning's tasks. Yeah, we hit all the essential ones. Good work, everyone. The food's almost ready. Just give it a little more time. Ah, looks like we came back right on time, then. You look, uh, is it luck or intuition? Either way, there's more than enough to go around. I'm sure you must be starving after riding all over the plains all morning. Well, I am pretty hungry. Riding can be surprisingly strenuous. It smells wonderful. I think the scent is starting to make me even hungrier. Me too. Hey, no eating before it's done. Huh, <laughs> anyway... Let me thank you for your hard work this morning. Take a seat. We'll begin our midday meal in just a minute. Reen and the others sat down and waited for the meal to be served. After eating their fill of warm, fragrant, uh, na non-bread and savory kebabs, they all washed it down with a cup of Sheeta's finest herbal tea. Ah, that really hit the spot. I still want to eat more, but my stomach is protesting. That nan, f uh, non flatbread you made was really delicious. It tasted so fresh, too. <laughs> I baked it on a kind of collapsible stove. I'm glad you liked it. I doubt you see bread like that much in the Empire. Oh, I don't think I could eat another bite. Sheeta's tea was a wonderful finish to the meal, too. Yeah, 
Must have been practicing quite a bit while I've been away. Your tea etiquette was perfect as well. I hope you will continue to learn and improve. Thank you. <laughs> Sheena got praised by the cool boy. Really? <laughs> it looks like uh, you were able to recover your strength. Hopefully you're about ready to start thinking about the afternoon's task. Oh, yeah, of course. Shall we get started on the uh, cleaning up first, then? Oh, you don't need to worry yourselves with that. Oh, no, I would feel terrible if you had to do it all on your own. Hmm, then we should begin. <clears throat> Field study envelope. Let's see. Cameraman Caravan. A visiting photographer by the name a uh, photographer by the name of Norton has left for Northern Highlands unaccompanied. I would like you uh, to go after him and ensure his safety. But first, please visit me at my home, as I have more to tell you. Wandering sheep. The fence in front of the pasture has been damaged and a number of sheep have gotten loose. Please help me find them. Alright, in a special lesson. I would like you to hold a simple lesson for the children of, of this settlement in order to broaden their horizons. If you're willing to do so, please come speak to me outside. Jetta. There are only a few, but they all seem pretty challenging. Not to mention tedious. This afternoon, I'd like you to, uh, you to turn your attention toward the northern highlands. You may need to travel to the south as well, though, which will give you a lot of ground to cover. I left some fresh horses near the northern exit, so just head out uh, that way when you're ready to leave. Thank you. All right, everyone, let's do this. We just swing. Swing by and visit the Elder first, since uh, he's the client for our only essential request this afternoon. That seems sensible. Okay, let's pay the Elder a visit. <laughs> Take care, everyone. My turn. Okay. Wrong buttons. Alright, uh, let's see. Chapter 3... Da -da -da. Wandering sheep. Alright. Let's go. Okay. Uh, let's see. So there's one. There's two. And over there is three. Alright. Easy enough. Let's go talk to everyone. About their requests. Oof. Hey there. I was waiting for you. How in the world did the fence end up like this? Your guess is as good as mine. It seems like it got broken sometime just before noon. Unfortunately, some of the sheep have managed to escape too. I doubt there's any need to worry about monsters getting them because they're surprisingly fast, but... Would you be able to go out and find them for me? Gladly. How many sheep did, uh, managed to escape? Five of them in total. Based on their hoof prints, it seems like three went north and two went south. I'd honestly like to go search for them myself, but I need to get this uh, fence fixed up first. Otherwise, the rest of them uh, will make a break for it as well. Don't worry, we'll take care of them. Shall we begin the search immediately, then? That's probably the best idea, especially with how vast the highlands are. We'll need to uh, make some preparations of our own before leaving, though. I agree. Heading out there with in insufficient supplies is foolhardy. Right, then. Let's get started once we're ready. Okay, next up... da 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 you. Hello. I've been waiting for you all. Do you have, uh, did you have a look at my request? We did. You want us to hold a class for the children, right? 
What do you want us to teach them, though? Don't worry, it's nothing too difficult. I just want to teach them a little about Erebonia. I see. That explains why you asked us, then. This is a good chance for them to learn about life outside the settlement. They attend Sunday school, so they are fine in regards to regular studies. Might I ask how Sunday school is carried out here? A traveling priest comes by once a month to hold it. We really can't be thankful enough for all of his efforts. When you think about it, the sheer amount of work the church does on a, such a huge scale really is amazing. Indeed, it's all thanks to the goddess's generosity. Do you have the time to help? If so, I'll call the children over. We'll do it in just a bit. Because there is a hidden quest, and it is over, uh, it is back at the, the fort. So, I guess while I'm out, I will be, uh, looking for some sheep as well. Yep. Alright, I wonder if they're easy to spot. There's one. Let's see. You said there were two in the south? I see one of them. I don't see the other. Where could this other sheep be? Oh well, I guess we'll head over there. Maybe both of them are in the same location. Yeah. Alright, over here should be where one of the sheep is. Bah! Bah, I say. Is that one of them? Yes, There is. Uh, that's one of the sheep we're looking for. What are we going to do uh, with the sheep we find? I'll lead them back to the settlement with my horse. But we should leave guiding them back until after we found all five. Okay, we'll leave that to you then. Found the first sheep. Now where's the other? There it is. Uh, it's a bit of a trek, but let's do it. Yeah. All right. Here's uh sheep number two. Ah, oh, found one. I'm surprised it managed to come all the way out here. Here's the second sheep. There's still a couple more out there, though. Yes, but if I'm right, they are. Three uh, went to the north, so we covered everyone in the south. So let's head on over to uh, the fort. Yeah. All right, we're back. I'm looking for the cafeteria. Hello. Boy from the settlement told me that there's an old man living in the northern part of the highlands. Apparently he's skilled with horrible tech and can fix almost anything in a flash. He must be really skilled, considering how complicated some of these new ornaments are. I wouldn't mind having the chance to meet him one day. What can I buy? Ah, uh, they have all the weapons that they have over there, and also some ingredients. Cool. Master Quartz. Mobius. Yeah, I remember that. Went to, uh, went to sold on it. The Fusion, uh, Fusion no Taki. Sure. Gladiator Spear. Yep, alright. Actually. Uh, 
Let's see. There we go. Alright, back to looking for the actual cafeteria. Here we go. Gaius? Wow, I didn't know you were back. Hey, Charles. It's been a while. How are things going with, uh, Toma? They're going fine. He even, uh, took me down to the settlement on, uh, the back of his horse not that long ago. It was really fun, too. Everyone there is so kind, and their lifestyle is so interesting. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Toma was happy about having a friend his age from Erebonia, too. Here's hoping you two continue to get along. Of course. Hey, Gaius? Something wrong, Charles? Oh, no, it's nothing like that, but... Would you mind if I asked you something? Of course not. Go for it. Really? Well, then, you wouldn't happen to know what Toma's favorite color is, would you? Hmm. I can't say for sure. I think he's told me before, but I just can't remember. Sorry. Oh. Hey, you're the girl who Toma likes to visit, aren't you? Are you planning on giving him something? I... <laughs> thought so. What exactly did you have in mind? Well, I was actually thinking about making him a scarf. That sounds like a good idea. Ah, uh, so that's why you wanted to know his favorite color. Um, could you keep this a secret from him? I want it to be a surprise, so please... Of course. Don't worry about it. We promise we won't tell him. Though the issue of what color to make it still remains. Would asking him yourself be out of the question, Gaius? I'm not sure uh, that would be wise. It's not really something we would normally talk about, so it might strike him as odd if I asked him out of nowhere. Yeah, I can see him getting uh, suspicious. That's not true for the rest of us, though. We should be able to slip it into a conversation without him catching on. He'll never suspect anything like that. Yeah, that should work. Let's go ask him then, shall we? Thank you so much. Aww. Hello. Aw, oh, she's your daughter, huh? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you leave Toma alone, all right? Alright, back at the settlement. Let's go. Let's go and see if we can get that information from uh, Toma. Hey there, little man. Looking good, Toma. Hello, everyone. Did you need something from me? Oh, no. We were just impressed by how hard you're working. You've been going at it since this morning. Aren't you tired? <laughs> not at all. I'm not quite as strong as Gaius is, but I still have a duty to set a good example for Sheeta and Lily. That's quite the respectable mindset. It must be nice ha uh, to have a sibling as admirable as you, Gaius. <laughs> Thanks. What can I say? I'm proud to be his bro. Hey. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing to have... That said to your face, isn't it? That aside, I'm sort of curious about those outfits you and the others wear. Are they all handmade? Of course. The fibers used to make them come from our sheep here. And the dyes we use on them mainly come from plants, although we also use certain ores and soils uh, to color them too. Each color has a specific meaning as well. White represents the earth, 
Blue represents the sky. And then there's green, which t uh, ties it all together, representing the wind and harmony. That's fascinating. Yeah, I didn't realize there was that much meaning behind them. Can I ask which of the three colors you like the best? Hmm, I think I have to go uh, for green myself. The wind is kind of special to us, after all. That certainly makes sense. <laughs> I should have guessed as much. What's wrong? Did I say something weird? Come to think of it, I didn't really give the rest of you a chance to say anything, did I? I'm sorry. <laughs> no need to worry. You were just answering our questions, after all. Well, if you say so. Anyway, we should probably let you get back to work. Indeed, we have our own tasks to go back to as well. Yeah, you're right. Good luck with the rest then, Toma. Thanks. Be careful out there. All right, back to the um, back to the fort. Okay, back at the the imperial border. It is over here. Hello. Oh, hello everyone. Did you manage to find anything out? Yeah. Seems like green's his favorite color. Really? Hmm. Did he mention why? He said it was because green represents the wind uh, to the people of Nord. Ah, that makes perfect sense then. The wind's as special to them as Idios herself, after all. You really care for Toma, don't you? Th that's not... Well, he's an important friend, is all. Either way, thank you for asking him. Now I don't need to waste time worrying about what color to make it. <laughs> Glad to be of help. I wish you the best. I wish you luck with it. Thank you. Oh yeah, I gotta give you guys something in return for helping me out like that. Here, please take this. It's one of our more famous dishes here. Special pizza. <laughs> Thanks. 